everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing one of my newer bags in my collection that I did get for Christmas and it is the Mulberry Mini Darley handbag. So if you are here looking to get an honest review, I'm going to go through all of the ins and outs of this bag and compare it to Pochette Felici and I love that bag. It is one of my favorite bags in my collection so the fact that I'm even comparing the two is actually a pretty high standard to be honest. So I'm excited to share this with you. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Alyssa and I have a blog called The Gals Guide and I come on here and I talk about luxury handbags. I also talk about contemporary handbags. So if you like handbags, you are definitely in the right place. So you should consider subscribing down below. I would love to have you join this little community here with me. And also, before I get started, just thank you so much to my current subscribers. I am so appreciative of your support always, and I just love chatting with you in the comments down below. So, that being said, let's get into the video. So, the handbag that I'm sharing today is this one. So, here it is, the little Mulberry Mini Darley. And this is in this beautiful cognac leather, and it's uh, pebbled, it's very soft to the touch, and it has the gold hardware, of course, and you just twist it to open it up. But I'll show you the sides of it here. So it's not super big, but it is pretty thick. And then you have this back zipper pocket and the bottom. And you have this really nice yellow gold chain. It is definitely a little bit heavier, like it feels luxurious. It doesn't feel super heavy where it's not like it doesn't weigh your shoulder down or anything like that, but it is a really kind of luxurious feel to the chain. It doesn't feel like super, it doesn't feel like it's hollow inside of the chain. So when you open this up, I do have the dust bag in here, but when you open it, you have this nice opening and then on the back of it, you have credit card slots. So if you're going out or something like that and you don't want to carry a wallet, you can, you know, put that in there. I do have the Mulberry card and then I, you have this really nice zipper pocket up here. So before I show you what fits in this, I'm going to kind of compare to the size of the Louis Vuitton Pochette Felici. So this is the one that I have in the beautiful monogram. And you can already tell that this one is actually a little bit longer in length and this one's a little bit shorter. But then when you look at the depth of each of them, you can tell the Mulberry is definitely thicker than the Pochette. So you can also see the difference in the color of the straps. So the Louis Vuitton is a lot lighter. It's like that champagne kind of gold and the Mulberry is that yellow gold. I love how the camera is focusing on both of these chains. But so they are different in the color. They are very similar in the size and the length. They're actually the exact same size just about like I think the mulberry is maybe half an inch longer so I'm gonna leave the measurements of everything in the description box below just so you know but just to give you an idea of what the two of them look like as far as size comparison so the thing about the pochette is it does come with the inserts so I will show you them so it does come with a little pouch and a card holder here so this is definitely a differentiator this is a game changer to have these. However, the difference, of course, is this bag is substantially more expensive than this bag. It's actually double the price. So, and I'll leave the prices in the description also. You can also get discounts on Mulberry, especially if you buy from an Italian boutique. So Coltorti actually has this for sale in a couple of different colors, and you can get it for substantially less than the retail value. And this is a you know a newer bag. So I would say as far as price, this one of course wins. But as far as value for money, I mean I like the fact that it comes with three pieces instead of one. However, they are pretty similar as far as the size goes. So I'm going to show you what fits in them. And I'm going to start with the mulberry and kind of show you how everything lays in there. And I'm going to put everything in this bag without using the inserts, just in case you wanted to know like how you would actually fit things in had you bought it 
without the inserts because they do sell them on the pre-loved market quite a bit without the inserts. So I will show you kind of the comparison of what they actually fit as far as the bag by themselves. So starting with the Mulberry bag, I am going to put in my Louis Vuitton key pouch as my wallet just to show you. Of course you could put credit cards and things in the back. However, just for the purpose of the video, I'm going to show you what fits. So I'm also going to put in a mascara and my key fob. And so far, this is what that looks like. So still a ton of room left in there. Now I'm also going to put my phone in here. This is the 12 Pro. It just fits back there like that. So lots of space still. So I can also fit a hand sanitizer. And of course, I need a lip gloss. This is actually like a jelly glaze from Tarte. It's really good. And that just fits perfectly right there. So that's all I would really need, except for maybe a mask. And I would use like one of those disposable ones. It does close perfectly. It doesn't change the shape or anything when you do put stuff in there. It is a little bit heavier. Like, of course, I can feel all the stuff in here, but it definitely packs a punch for a mini bag. I'm going to see if I can fit one more thing. Let's see if I can fit this pack of gum a little bit, but I did get that in there and it will close. Yes. And that also went in there. So that is a ton of stuff that I got in this tiny little bag and it just really is bigger than you would think as far as how much you can fit because the width is pretty substantial and what I like about this is the leather is not super stiff so you can really get stuff in there that is a little bit troublesome because the more you stuff it and then you take things out it does kind of tend to crease your leather I haven't had a problem with it yet but of course I did just get this in December so I haven't worn it enough to really see any damages and things like that. However, I have been loving this bag. It's a really easy bag to just kind of grab and go with you. And I've been taking it out with me when I go out at night, you know, if I like if I don't need a ton of things with me. So it's a really, really nice bag. So now let's see what fits in the Pochette Felici. So I'm going to start with my phone with this. So you do have a lot of space in here still. Definitely different than the Mulberry. You do have more length uh, you have more length on the side to fit more things. So I'm going to take my key pouch and put that in there. And my key fob. So this is what that looks like. And then I'm going to put in my lip gloss. And I'm going to try to fit this hand sanitizer. So I did have to move some things around to get the hand sanitizer in there. But that's what it looks like. And I'm also going to add the mascara. So it is pretty... Oop. Whoops. So obviously it is pretty stuffed. So I'm going to go ahead and close it and it does close. So it does kind of sink here a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. I mean, I have had this bag for about six years. So this is one of the oldest bags in my collection, actually. And over time, I really haven't seen any scratches or damage. However, since I do have it so stuffed, you can kind of feel that the canvas is starting to kind of sink in. I don't know if that makes sense, but you really can't tell. It's not like ruining the bag or anything. And also, I don't have the gum in here and it definitely wouldn't fit. So this one, obviously, you can tell doesn't fit as much as the mulberry. I maybe could crush a mask back here like in this hidden pocket. I could probably get that in there. Other than that I definitely couldn't fit anything else in this bag. So overall this one of course fits a little bit more. It is less expensive as well and to be honest with you it's a lot easier to get your hands on. So the Louis Vuitton bag is always sold out on their website and people really hike up the price on the pre-loved market which is tough especially when they don't sell it with the inserts. So I, I always say like I don't want to recommend that bag because I know it's so hard to get but it is such a wonderful bag and I do think it's worth the price point. However, this is a really great alternative to it. This bag fits so much. It's absolutely beautiful. The quality of the leather is stunning. The quality of the chain is beautiful. It has so many compartments for you that help you to keep organized and things like that. So I am going to show you what this looks like on me so you can see what it looks like on my frame. It is a pretty mini bag, so I also just want to give you an idea of the chain length, and it is very similar to the Louis Vuitton. So I am 5'2", and I'll show you what this looks like on me as a crossbody. This is what it looks like as a crossbody. It really hits me right at my hip. 
which I really like. And then of course, as a shoulder bag, it is a little bit longer, so it does hang a little bit lower. I usually wear this as a crossbody. I want to also point out that the chain strap on this is removable, so is the Louis Vuitton strap. So when you open this up, you'll see here, you can actually take these off and the strap will come off and you can wear this as a clutch. So both bags are very, very versatile. They're very, very similar in my opinion, and I would highly recommend them both. I would say the only differences really is the price point and the availability of each of the bags. So this one is a lot easier to get your hands on, as I said earlier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link this bag in the description box down below, and if I can find any of the Felici bags on the pre-loved market, I will try to link those in the description box below as well. But I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up so I know to keep making videos like this. I hope that you guys like my comparisons. I try to compare bags that are pretty similar that, you know, you may be looking at multiple bags to see which one is going to be the best for you and your lifestyle. So if you like this video, I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.